Hello guys, welcome to Solid Tutorial. Now we shall see one of the important interview question that is how to know maximum inactive interval or idle timeout period of a session. So I want to know the idle timeout period for a session. One session gets created. First of all, understand what is the idle timeout period of a session. So the idle timeout timeout period of a session means the maximum inactive interval period or idle timeout period of a session is nothing but how much maximum time that session can be there in idle state continuously so without accessing that session without accessing that already created session i want to know how much time it is there in the idle period of time so let me try once again you can implement this method by using you, you can implement this by method by using the api called let me write here the api syntactical stuff into i want to use time so you can use here session dot get the max inactive get max inactive interval so this is the method which will give you which will give you the inactive interval time inactive interval time so by default every sessions every session is created is 30 minutes of time so let me try with this first of all so i will use this uh, let me go to my existing web application so you can see this is my first web application sorry uh, this is my question web app <coughs> I, this was created in the last session which contains first solid and first solid contains uh, just uh, here i created a session a new session by putting the true and i set the attribute name and maoli i try to know the whether session is new or not that's it the, this is the previous interview, interview questions and here i want to access i think already i did somewhere already i did somewhere so here i got session now i can print here yes i got here i got already it's, it's there it's there okay fine fine so let me copy all the stuff and fine so guys you can see here in time session dot get max inactive interval and uh, how dot printl here i mentioned break tag or new line get maximum session interval get maximum inactive interval okay fine so here i'm not setting it's everything is default i'm not setting my session timeout period so it's commented commented and uh, this should work so here instead of, instead of keeping here let me keep here time this is my time okay fine and just i want to run this application first of all i need to run this uh, first solid because session need to create and once session gets created it will set two attributes and it will show the session is new or old. After that, I uh, will go for second solid, running the second solid, and I will check maximum inactive interval time. Fine, boss. So just run the application now. So right click here. Uh, here you can hit the run. So it's running. deploying the web application now so started so let me get the uh, let me get the url pattern of my first solid so go to firefox and hit here to start the session so session started and session is new session is new let, let me go for my second solid sorry now here let me get this same url control c and control v so instead of going for first solid let me go for second solid and in the second solid you can see here session attribute values mauli and get maximum inactive session interval time is 1800 minutes 1800 minutes so if you calculate here so i kept for third uh, by default netbeans allocate so if i go for calculator calculator 30 minutes into 60 second yes 30 minutes 30 minutes is the time okay in the form of seconds so sorry not minutes not seconds in the form of minutes so let me give here minutes okay plus plus double quote minutes okay not in hours or not in seconds so let me rerun let me rerun and let me retry once again so you will feel the difference 
so let me refresh this as that is control f5 control f5 yes refresh now you can see here it's not new it's old i made refresh last time it was true now it's false now control f5 you can see here 1800 minutes fine now let me prove that also the case is in most of this web servers in most of the web servers the default maximum inactive interval idle timeout spread of the session is 30 minutes is a 30 minutes so actually 30 minutes instead of calling seconds so let me change to here uh, 30 minutes to sorry control check seconds yes it's right second guys seconds seconds so it's it should be seconds seconds okay it should be seconds not in minutes okay points if you convert into seconds so here first solid and here let me go for second solid so it should be second guys please correct it not minutes seconds okay okay boss fine so my intention is to prove i want to prove the default timeout prayer so in most of the web servers the default maximum inactive interval idle timeout prayer of the session is 30 minutes so if you convert those 30 minutes into seconds so here you can go in this way so 30 minutes minutes into into 60 seconds into seconds 60 seconds you will get 1800 seconds okay fine so this is default timeout print so in tomcat manager every web application has a session time is greater than or equal to 30 minutes by default so let me prove that also so default timeout print so localhost 8080 and go to manager app so i entered username and password so go to my 60 so you can see here one session is there okay this column is belongs to session so sessions okay fine so let me scroll down so session is there so click here once you click you can see here 28 minutes 38 seconds time to leave inactive is for one one minutes 21 seconds user two minutes 31 seconds last access and creation time okay boss in this way also you can see fine even if i invalidate also you will come to know invalidate now now i'll show you once again now it's false right it's false now let me refresh now you can see it's newly created now let me refresh now you can see here 29 minutes and 56 seconds so 30 minutes and use it 3 seconds and 1 second for processing you can call okay and control f5 so default time it is 1800 seconds okay guys fine okay fine now just uh, i want that statement to display here that's it control c and uh, so let me close this part and let me keep this notation here so guys this is the stuff so point okay guys that's it now we shall see one more interview questions that is how to know or how to get the session id